Welcome back. When Netflix's Outer Banks premiered in 2020, it quickly flew to the top of the streaming charts, turning the cast like actor Chase Stokes into stars overnight. Now, Stokes plays John B., the charismatic leader of the Pogs on the hunt for the lost treasure. But this season, he's also looking for something even more valuable, lost family. Take a look. That's exactly what my dad would do to call me home. Sarah, that, that pattern, those bells. The ding, 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 ding. Sarah, that, that, that's him calling me home. I know, it, yeah. It, that's, it's really weird. But it's not him. Okay, how do you, how do you know that? My goodness, Chase, good morning to you. The Pogues, I should say. Pogues. Downstairs, everybody was watching it, talking about it. They're so excited you're here. I'm so happy you're here this Thanks morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So here's the deal. This is show now, number one on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I just saw this morning, the first and second season, also the top of the chart. Yeah. How does it feel to be you right now? Uh, kind of wild. Yeah? Yeah, it's been such a journey. I mean, we started this thing sort of with no expectation, and now to have the show doing what it's doing. Is, is bizarre, but very, very grateful. With the hit show everybody is talking about, have you had any interesting fan interactions, if you will? Even just when you were outside, people are screaming your name. Yeah, I think it's just cool that there's so many people and so many families that get to watch it together. So you have moms and dads who yeah. sit down with their kids and watch the show. So to, to know that there's families that are sharing this thing is, is a beautiful thing. You know what people love about it? There's an emotional roller coaster, if you will. Like this mm. season, your character, John B., has a very emotional storyline involving his father. What was it like tapping into those emotions on screen? Ooh, some daddy issues yeah. for John B. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, a, it's an understatement. It's, uh, you know, it's fun. And I think it sort of gives this push and pull as to, I think sometimes in life we feel like we need to uh, tend to our families so consistently. And in this case, you know, sometimes our family doesn't always have our best interest. Yeah. We have to take after ourselves and look out for our own futures. Speaking of emotions, you've been very open about mental health. Why yes. do you think it's so important to use your platform to talk about some of these issues? I think going back to being 14, 15 year old me who was understanding and, and dealing with anxiety in the ways that I was, I didn't really have anybody to look at mm. to say like, I can understand because they also are dealing with a similar thing. So. Um, it's sort of a love letter to myself as a younger kid and for all the younger kids out there who are dealing with it post-COVID and coming back into the world to, to have a little bit of a beacon of somebody who's making an impact in society with my work, but also with my work in mental health as well. Do you feel like we're moving the, le the needle a little bit? Even my kids, I have mm -hmm. two 10-year-olds and a 13-year-old, they talk about it now, mental yeah. health. It doesn't have the stigma that it used to Absolutely. when I was young. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think if you go back in time, we look at therapy as a bad thing. Like, yeah. ooh, they're in therapy. And now it's like... Good for you. Like, you got a therapist? I love that. You know what? I heard you got your start during commercials. Uh, we actually tracked down one of your first gigs, the pizza delivery guy. No. Oh, way. yes. This is you a today it. show. This is what we do. <laughs> Everybody, take a look. Oh. Sometimes I work the early shift, sometimes the late shift. But no matter when I need to pay my bills, I always know Amscot's open. Electric, cable, phone. I just hand them my bill and payment. They process it electronically, and it gets paid. Four Wait, did you just do that? Okay. Did you just that? There's a little PTSD <laughs> from that spot for sure. What would you say to that kid who was just starting out? I guess it's all going to work out. Everybody thought I was a pizza delivery guy for the longest oh, time. Oh, seriously? Yeah, so it would play at late nights, and friends would be up at 3 o'clock in the morning. They'd be like, dude, are you delivering pizzas now? I was like, what? Like, I just saw you on TV, and I'm like, oh. Oh, no, no, that was a commercial. I'm right, well, you to be sold it. That's how well of an actor you are. You sold oh. it. Okay, so listen, before you leave, right across the street on SNL, we have a pretty mm -hmm. good show planned for tomorrow night. Sure do. Kelsey Ballerini, mm -hmm. she'll be uh, taking the stage, going out on a limb here. Are you a fan? Absolutely, I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> who isn't a fan? For those of you who don't know, they're dating. Mm -hmm. You guys have a, 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 beautiful, a beautiful couple. Oh, I want to say, too, Outer Banks was renewed for a fourth season. There are a lot of fans uh, watching this morning, so I don't want to disappoint them. I know you can't say a lot, but Oof. can you give them anything? On season four? On season four. I gotta be honest, I don't know anything. Really? I really don't. You know, sometimes really we have don't. actors who come in and they don't watch themselves mm -hmm. or they don't know what's going to happen even mm -hmm. when they're actually filming it. What yep. about for you? Do you like to know what's going to happen? I, I do. Um, I don't watch myself back at you all. Really, you I don't do, either. Oh, gosh, no. I mean, you know, you live it. So when you're living it, you've got that experience. And then yeah. you go back in the studio for ADR and whatnot. But... Um, yeah, our writers are diligently working away. I had a call with them last night, actually, about sort of where it might go. Okay. But 
it's Outer Banks. Everything changes. People so love it. Know. So congratulations Thank on that. So I will much. say we heard your first time on camera was reading the morning announcements. It was. At school. It was. What grade was that? That started my sophomore year. Really? Yeah. And then I got on the desk my junior year. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So guess what? Now you're on the Today Show. Oof. So I'm going to let you take this tease. Let's do it. Okay. You ready? What camera are we going to? Right. right. Are we going to do this one? Let's right, do can it. Can I be your co-host? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, please. Let me, let me cross my legs. Okay. I'm ready for you. Ready to go. Okay. You can catch season three of Outer Banks streaming now on Netflix. And up next. Would you tell your deepest secret to a stranger? Well, we'll take you inside a modern-day pen pal program that's changing lives. But first, this is Today on NBC. Did I get a job? You did it. Oh. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.